This is a questionable reality production. Hello, hello, I'm Xander Crowns, and this is AP Post History. Now let's get started. Today we'll be covering topic 5.6, the friends of the Fibermen. The Fibermen, as you might remember, were dedicated to the edicts of efficiency, and from time to time they would import other alien species to perform work on Earth. These imports were called the friends of Fibermen or Fafs. The general reaction and opinion of Fafs was as varied and as diverse as the Fafs that would arrive, and that some would be resented and others well liked. I mean, that's not actually particularly remarkable. All interactions, though, were closely monitored and controlled by the Fibermen to ensure they had the intended effect. As the Fibermen did like the productivity arising from amicable relationships between Fafs and humans, but they did not like mutual murmuring and scheming that camaraderie often gave way to. The Fibermen behind the scenes would endlessly be weighing the pros and cons of it all. One of the most prominent Fafs were the Citrons, a species of fruit-like entities that had arms and legs and a thirst for blood. The Citrons were often tasked with being taskmasters, managers, and guards because they spared no brutality towards humans in keeping them in line. And while it may seem the Citrons would be deeply resented, they were actually a great source of comic relief. As, for one, Citron's bodies were lemons, limes, and oranges. And I mean quite literally. Moreover, they were quite small. About the size of your average, I don't know, citrus fruit. With their absurdity accentuated by their Roman-esque armor they wore every day. Then there were the infamous Hydroxides, who functioned as the chief potted plant authority on Earth. Every plant that dared be in a pot, vase, or basket, whatever have you, better have been a hydroxide, or the Fibermen would consume the whole rebellious village. Why was this so strictly mandated? No one actually knows. Maybe just because it seemed odd and the Fibermen actually quite enjoyed messing with people. The humans were largely indifferent to them, and despite what you're thinking, they did not have spy equipment in them either. They, they literally just sat there as potted plants. One of the most beloved fops that humans would miss when the fireman occupation ended was the Namu. The Namu were almost identical to humans, save they had nose crests and walked backwards. To the humans, this is what aliens were supposed to be and what they were supposed to look like. All the other weird things and species that kept coming from space seemed purely ridiculous and not something that ought to be on this fair planet grounded in reality or really in the galaxy in general if you ask the humans. Plus, the whole walking backward thing was less weird than the Yanungas who walked upside down on their hands, which is just odd. At least to them. In fact, let's turn to the History Makers segment where Chief Human Ambassador Skizix the Colossal sums up human interactions and attitudes towards the Fafs. It seems strange to me for so much of our literature to have depicted alien species as monolithic in that entire societies were based on a single gimmick and every member acted in line with that gimmick. However, we have found that aliens are surprisingly like humans in that there is a great diversity to them, and a certain uniqueness to each individual. From this, we have become quite good friends with many of the Fafs, and pleasantly surprised by aliens. Oddly enough, the Fibermen were great friends with the Plastics. Do you remember them? I bet you maybe do or don't. I don't know who, much to everybody's surprise, were still lingering in the dark depths of the world. That is not to say their numbers weren't severely depleted and they were probably surviving on by, like, a shoestring. The firemen thought about replenishing the plastics as to exploit them, as you should do for anything. 
as they especially liked their hate for humanity, but grew too uncomfortable when they realized the fiber vacuum, for whatever reason, could not absorb plastic. Thus, the friendship was quite short-lived, and the plastics went back to becoming extinct and eventually did to no one's care. The Fafs would flavor curiosity and life under the stagnant reign of the Fibermen. As the leadership of the Fibermen lacked any real changes, as the leadership of the Fibermen lacked any real changes and grew to be monotonous. Everything had to be as the Fibermen demanded. However, interactions with the Fafs began to present a possible to even maybe shake off of the firemen. And that's it. Topic 6 of Unit 5 is complete. If you want to find success in your post history class and make friends with one of the friends of firemen, consider subscribing and liking this video. My goal is to see each and every one of you get a 92 in your class and a 7 on the AP test in Quintober. Alright, Xander Crowns, checking out.